Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll try to explain how to deploy and use main in the loop weapons mainly or namely here the Delilah which is a standoff weapon which can be guided after the launch through GPS and visual from the operator from the launching aircraft. Um, these weapons are available in the BMS um, Israeli theater. So just some words on today's mission. Um, Intel has reported a SSX battalion which um, might be deployed um, to guard a radar station. At the moment it's not sure if the SA6 is already um, at the uh, target point which um, is the radar station at steer point 5 or if it's still on the move. So we'll see that later while we're um, in the mission. Yeah, so I'll try to um, explain everything I do in real time so no pausing and let's see how that uh, works so let's go on first of all I'll go into air to ground mode uh, switch to the SMS page here are my two Delilahs they are still powered off so I'll power them on um, as those um, Delilahs take about three minutes um, to power on, um, I will go into a left turn to give me some time until they are powered on um, and as well set some parameters for those uh, weapons. So I'll switch to the uh, weapons page. We see the um, weapon is not timed out so it's still powering up but we still can um, set some of the parameters. So we go to the control page. Um, first of all, um, I'd like to set a cruise altitude. If that is not set, the um, weapon will cruise or travel or fly to the target um, at the altitude um, it has been dropped. So I'll have them fly a little bit closer to the ground. So let's say at 8,000 feet. So switching to the next um, station and setting that for the second weapon as well. The two other parameters we can set here are the timings for the go around. Go around means the uh, weapon will overfly the um, its target steer point or its target SPI um, for that amount of time and then uh, turn around. The turnaround will take about a minute and then come back um, to the target. So we will um, deploy one of the two weapons um, in that go around mode or maybe even um, order it in a second go around um, to identify target. So we will see once um, the weapons are in the air. So in the meantime I'll turn my TGP on. So for those um, many of the loop weapons um, you have to set an initial or um, your system um, SPI will set as um, initial um, SPI for the weapon so where the weapon is um, going to fly to. Um, you can't update the weapon with a system um, SPI uh, once it's in flight, but you can um, set a new SPI in the weapon itself. So I'll show you that later. So for the moment, um, I will switch to the TGP and see if there are any, if I can identify any targets. It doesn't seem that the battalion already reached the target site. So I'll switch to the FCR, switch to 
ground moving targets. Yeah, and there yeah, flare. it seems there they are. Yeah, now we can identify them on the TGP. So trying to find. Yeah, that looks like the straight flash that we are going for. So having at least the SPI either in um, point mode or in area track. So we are still out of the wealth of the SA6. So going back to the weapons page. So deploying the first one. Now I'll switch the channel to the second, uh, to channel two, in order um, to have both weapons in the air. So deploying the second one. Now in order to stay out of um, the west, I switch to Caution. the Caution. after antenna. Now we can see the antenna rings. So uh, they are they don't show the distance um, of the antenna. So just keep the lines pointing to your weapon or to your target. So don't have too much bank angle. So that looks good enough. So turning away from the target, switching back to the weapons page. So um, we see that um, triangle and this is our initial um, SPI we have set. So putting the weapon now into expanded mode. And I think this vehicle uh, will be our target. So I put the weapon into uh, terminal mode, so it now descends towards the target. Now I fuse the weapon. Without doing that, it would be just a falling brick. So switching back to the TGP. in order to try to do BDA. So now ground stabilizing the weapon with another TMS up. And now guiding the weapon into the target. So back to the TGP. So at the moment I can see the splash, we'll see. So now we um, switch to our um, second weapon, so switching the channel. And getting back Trying to acquire contact to our second weapon.
Yeah. So now we have it. So I order this one and go around. On the TGP, we can see that little cross that indicates our weapon. It has already overflown the the target. So it goes for another one minute thirty seconds until it turns around. So I'll maneuver the aircraft. To stay out of the west while the uh, weapon is still in um, going around I use the TGP in order to try to identify where the second radar might be ah, and we have a BDA, we have a splash on the straight flush. So these are all launchers, launchers. This looks like a truck, yes. So it's left to the yeah, on the left side. So just to gain um, situal awareness, where's our weapon? Our weapon is coming in, yeah, from the northeast so slewing the weapon onto the target area the target so we could send it in another go around so while the weapon is in go around so for two minutes or one minute 40 seconds um, we maneuver the aircraft back so trying to keep the antenna pointing towards the target or the weapon. Just checking. Okay, this the radar truck still seem, seems still to be there. The radar trucks, yeah, still okay, just checking the antenna is. 
feel good. Okay, the turnaround has finished, so it's slewing. There we are. So it was left uh, this one. So putting the into the terminal mode with um, my TMS right two times in a um, sh short sequence. I can update the SPI within the weapons. So the triangle is now um, on the target. If we might to have uh, to go around again. So fusing the weapon. Ground stabilizing. And just checking on the TGP. Yeah, target is destroyed. So this concludes um, this tutorial. Um, was my first one. So just leave me a comments if you have any suggestions. Um, maybe I start um, a series of tutorials of um, weapons in BMS that are not so heavily used. Yeah, that's it for today. Have a nice day.